Prince Harry and Meghan Markle crossed a line with their choice of baby name, according to Daily Mail columnist Sarah Vine. Royal expert and Saturday Diary editor Richard Eden echoed this, saying that no other royal child would have even considered using such an intimate name. This comes amid backlash to the Sussex's choice of name for their second child, Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Lilibet was born on Friday, June 4, at 11.40 a.m. at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara. A spokesperson for the couple said that Harry had reached out to the Queen before his new daughter's name, Lilibet Diana, was made public. However, Sarah Vine was not happy with the name telling Mail Plus Palace Confidential that a lot of people felt it was wrong, and felt uncomfortable about it. She said that a lot of readers emailed me to say that they thought it was really shameless that they had done this. Ms. Vine continued, The reason they would have had to ask for permission from the Queen is because it is her nickname, it is not her name. They are using her private, family nickname which they know will get a lot of media attention. That is why it is so significant. I think if they had called her Elizabeth, it would not be nearly as significant. It is because it is this private nickname that her husband used for her, her parents used for her. It's such an intimate thing. Mr. Eden added. It seems to have created a whole new battle between the royal family and the Sussexes. Let's be frank, it would never have occurred to Zara Tyndall to name her child Lilibet. She would have known not in a million years to do that. Ms. Vine added. None of the other royal children have done it. There is a sort of entitlement there. Why are they entitled to use the Queen's nickname? Why can't William and Kate? Well, because William and Kate would never be so presumptuous. The other royals would have thought it was arrogant, presumptuous and entitled and they wouldn't do it. But Meghan and Harry think they are different.